All right, Liam, hey, target line, let's take a look. I think you're doing a lot of good things here, man, from, uh, from the target line. And uh, the first thing here is the club face. That club face angle, really good. Lead arm, plenty of depth. You can see the hands uh, back behind the right shoulder. Keep in mind the right hip is spinning a little from the post, right, as we saw from face on. And uh, I still think as we work on that right hip, getting a little bit more on the post, I think that'll just improve the backswing even just a little bit more, probably keep the club head a little more out in front of you. Do a good job here. Um, do a nice job, bring it down through impact, right elbow right in towards the body. And then I in particularly like this, how your hands work back around to the left and how it exits under the shoulder with a good face angle. So that's good stuff there. A lot of good stuff through the hit impact zone. And again, I can see where you're hitting a lot of good shots. I think that overdraw will improve as we kind of shape the backswing just a little bit better. And um, I'm gonna go back to what I said from face on, ball position a little more forward. And then really working on this right hip, working more up and back and staying more up on the post. Less spin away from the post and more up on the post. I think that's gonna the right elbow and the lead arm a little bit more out in front of you <clears throat> and then from there I think it's just gonna be a lot easier to rotate and uh, I think you'll stabilize the face better through the strike um, as we improve the ball position and the backswing um, as far as the body's concerned so good stuff man like the swing I um, want to give you your game plan here and uh, here's how I want you to go about it all right, hey Liam, Travis here. Thanks so much for your patience, man. For uh, appreciate you sending in the uh, the videos here, and I um, want to get you started. Uh, I'm heading down to the PGA show, and I want to get your analysis uh, here today. And then I'm going to shoot my uh, game plan for you from demo day in the morning. So um, you'll have everything you need uh, by tomorrow. But I want to get this analysis to you today. And um, you, you talked about hitting a little draw hook, being the miss. And you got a lot of good things um, going on in your swing, including a good shoulder turn. You've got some forward shaft lean, all kinds of good stuff. In particular, I really like that right shoe as well. I like how that right heel is rolling. And um, not surprised you hitting a ton of good shots with that swing. I, I think what we need to do uh, to help you with the hook is, is to get the path probably zeroed out a little bit more to the left. And the first step to doing that is moving the ball position uh, more forward in the stance. And I think right now, your ball position um, is a little back in the stance. I'm gonna uh, suggest that you get a little more up towards your left chest area. Um, the more you move the ball forward, uh, the easier it's gonna be to get that path working more to the left, ball back. Um, we hit it more from the inside. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna get the ball more forward. From there, we're gonna get this right side of this hip to be a little bit taller. Yeah, you kind of spin a little bit um, with the right hip. When you look at the hip relative to this post, you can see the hip really moving away from it. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is to get this right hip more kind of up on top of that post or up against the post. Um, we're gonna get your right hip working a little bit more up and back where the right side of the pelvis is gonna feel much taller and not so kind of sunk in over here. All right, now in doing that, that's gonna really set the stage for you to rotate better. And I think as you come down, um, you're having a hard time ro rotating and getting out of the way. And a lot of that's because of um, the ball position and how that right hip is working. Uh, I can show you how to get a little more dynamic in the hips and rotating through the strike once we get the ball position better, and once we get that right hip in a better spot at the top of the swing. And I think that's gonna really help the path, and I think is really gonna be what you need um, to, to get rid of a few of those hooks, probably a few of those blocks out to the right, okay? So this is the face-on view. I wanna go to the target line view here next and kind of pair it together. All right, Liam, PGA Show Demo Day. 
show us your swing. We appreciate it right here, Orange County. You can see the sun is out, it's about 72 degrees. And you're a man here tonight on Show Us Your Swing, Travis Fulton Golf. Now, a couple things here that I want you to do. The first thing is, is you gotta move the ball position forward. That's important. You've got the ball back. When you see the ball back in the stance, then the tendency is you start getting too much from the inside. So move that ball forward. Get it up here off that left pec area, and that's gonna help. Now, from there, you gotta work on this right hip. I want you to do two things. The belt buckle, early on in the backswing, I wanna see a little bit more of this movement. See my belt buckle's gonna be tracing a little bit more over here towards the right heel. Your belt buckle's kinda of hanging out over here towards your left heel. So give me a little trace a little a la Hendrick Stenson, and then turn the right hip up nice and high. I had that line on video right here. Okay, so there's the line on the video. If you do it right, you'll move over there and then turn and stay more on it like that versus sliding away. That's critical, okay? So get a shaft, get an alignment stick, put it in the ground, stand next to it, get the belt buckle tracing, Get the right hip turning more up and stay right on it and don't spin away. And I think that's going to really just kind of structure things a little bit better up here like this. I think the right elbow will stay a little bit more out in front of you because I think really, you know, kind of the arm swing and what the club is doing through here is a lot of good stuff. So I really want to just kind of leave the target line stuff alone and just get you to focus on the ball position and then also how this right hip is working. Now, as you feel that, you're probably gonna feel like it's a little bit of a sway. It's gonna feel like a sway, but it's not because you're really spinning this way, okay? So really work on here, up like this, and then I think you'll feel like the club will be a little bit more out here in front of you, and then the club will exit back around to the left, all right? So good stuff, my man, good swing. I think there's a lot to learn here uh, in ball position for everybody, and then also how this hip is working here and then up like this and getting that right side taller than the left and then hugging that post over here in the back. So I want to work on that. Send me an update here in a couple weeks.